Tonight, a new study takes aim at sugar. Researchers say the sugar added to processed food doesn't just put on weight. It lowers good cholesterol and increases the risk of heart disease. And as we know, young Americans get 13% of their calories from sweetened drinks. So we wondered, can we see the effect of a soda on your body? Yanji Denise went to a lab to find out. We went to the University of Pennsylvania Rotabog Diabetes Center. First, they attached a device under my skin ah. and inserted an IV, both to monitor glucose levels in my blood. Cheers. With an empty stomach, I drank 20 ounces of cola, about the same amount the average American drinks in a day. When you buy a soft drink, you're mostly getting water. Next, add a lot of sugar and a little bit of flavor. But that sugar, usually cheaper corn syrup, consists of 45% glucose and 55% fructose. Glucose is more quickly turned into energy, but fructose, which is sweeter, can be more quickly turned into fat. When the glucose hits my bloodstream, my pancreas immediately begins making insulin to balance the sugar rush and help turn it into fuel. My glucose level started at 79 and then shot up rapidly because I'd essentially downed 16 teaspoons of sugar. The American Heart Association recommends that a woman like me consume just six teaspoons in an entire day. Drinking too many sugary sodas increases the risk of obesity, which is linked to diabetes, heart attack, and stroke. So 40 minutes later, we're up to 107. Mm -hmm. What does that tell us? This is where the pancreas is really starting to uh, do its maximal work. Now I'm at 111, so it goes fast. So it's, yep. At the same time, the fructose heads straight to my liver. The liver turns some of it into fuel and the excess into fat. While it is a point of contention, there is research on sugar intake that suggests the fat ends up as belly fat, the kind implicated in heart disease and even cancer. Doctors say if you drink two bottles a day, that can add up to a pound a week. A pound a week? A pound a week, right. That's a lot. That is a lot. That goes and fast. That does go fast. The beverage industry says all this is a normal metabolic response to eating any food, but dismissed our test as totally unscientific. They say sodas in moderation can be part of a balanced diet. But the next time you take a sip, consider the sugar, taking your body on an insulin roller coaster and potentially adding a whole lot of unnecessary calories. Yanji Denise, ABC News, Philadelphia.